hey guys welcome to the video today's video we're gonna play here the 20 wins challenge with splash shirt but before starting the video here don't forget to subscribe and leave a like in this video it's gonna help a lot so in this video i'm gonna be playing here with splash shirt but if you don't know what splash shirt is it's a deck that has mainly splash cards like my uh, wizard baby dragon to tornado and it's mainly a graveyard deck but really defensive deck but let's go here for our first match and he has tombstone so it seems like a lava deck tombstone with scully dragons i'm really gonna get a really good value of poison here and i'm really gonna go attack here because the skeletons of the scully king are are full he just has zaps so it's a really good attack he has to do a really perfect zap here and yeah, look at the damage we got in the first combo first push of the match and really good for us now we just defend and do a, a last graveyard graveyard push but this deck here you can use valkyrie for skeleton king i think it's a really good option too if you don't want to use the skelly king i know that the cards the the champions are open for for everyone to use but valkyrie too it's a really good option and uh, sometimes it's even better than the skelly king okay so here i'm just gonna poison here defensive we don't need to risk anything right now and it decides to go guards with balloon to other lane i'm just gonna bar bro and activate my tower here i could the tower and we got the tower on the right side so really good start for us right now now one minute on the clock we're just gonna defend and not gonna even put any graveyards or try to pressure him right now now we just need to cycle our troops here in the back of the tower cycle baby dragons ice wizards tombstones and I'm probably going to use a poison on defense too. Poison is going to slow the balloon, slow the... He's probably going to put the Scotty Dragons or Mega Minion. And here I'm just going to already start with the Ice Wizard. I'm already going to cycle to another Ice Wizard really fast when I have it. But first Barbara here. Poison everything right now. And put my Tombstone here just to attract the balloon. And I already have another Ice Wizard here. I'm just going to put it right now. And he's gonna have to waste another fireball here. Yeah, he's gonna waste another fireball. But it's not gonna get to the tower. But with the Scully King there, I'm really gonna use the ability. And he's gonna force to use more links here there on defense. So right now I'm just gonna get a really good poison right now. He's gonna probably lob in the front. I'm gonna get a really good poison. Tombstone here for the lava. And this matchup here, I think we have a bit of advantage because the Scully King in our deck, he doesn't have like really good options versus the Scully King. He has just guards. If he had a Valkyrie, it could have been a bit better for him. But that was the first matchup, and let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next match here. So right now we're 17 slash 1. Three steps away from the from 20 wins. And our starting hand here, I'm just going to start cycling here a Barbara on this tower. Let's see what deck he's using. Okay, so Tombstone 2, it could probably be another Lava deck, it could be my my Splash right here too. I think Lava, Graveyard, or Electro Giant, but not, not Electro Giant. Electro Giant, thank God, is not in liking the meta a lot right now. It disappeared from the meta. I think there's a lot of decks countering it right now. But this, he's using Golem. So versus Golem decks, we have a really good matchup here. I'm already going to put my Skeleton King here in the back on the left because I'm going to get a lot of souls there. And I'm already going to force him to defend. Let him use my ability here. So he's forced to use the Night Witch and that Baby Dragon on the left. And I'm just going to defend it with Tombstone. I have my Barbaro here too. And the Ice Wizard here for the Baby Dragon. So I think versus Golem decks, you have to play really aggressive. He doesn't have really good options for your for a graveyard yeah the the best option is a skeleton king but look at this activation here didn't get it it's really good for us right now and here we're gonna attack and i'm gonna already attack because the ice wizard is freezing the tower so the tower is gonna uh, be be more slow on the on the skeletons and here i'm just gonna already gonna skeleton king here in the back and look at all the damage that we got there we got 1200 and right now we just need to defend. Just start putting here our troops in the back of the tower. 
he's probably gonna go right now after this this defense here and we're gonna prepare my tombstone and yeah double licks right now is gonna probably golem and right now we have to do defense i'm really gonna cycle my tombstone first then my skelly king right now here in the back it's gonna gather some skellies from the tombstone so it's gonna be really good and it decides to lightning here but i'm really gonna cycle to another tombstone first i'm gonna pop the skelly ability here and i'm gonna poison that night witch getting the tower too we didn't even need to cycle to another tombstone here just the skelly king with the tornado resolved it i think i didn't even need that tornado here and i think i'm not gonna attack yet because he's gonna try to i think attack here i don't know yeah golem with the bridge but here i'm just gonna poison getting the skelly king getting the golem he decides to lightning but i already have another tombstone here I'm gonna put another ice wizard he tornadoes everything but we do have a we have a lot of lakes here and we're gonna get a lot of troops here from the from the counter attack and here i'm probably gonna go grave i'm gonna use ability first then i'm gonna grave right now and i'm gonna put my poison there now first i'm gonna tornado everything to the tower look at the splash damage getting right now it was first to use a lot of lakes there right now we're in really a good situation you just need to keep cycling hard troops here in the back again uh, ice wizard baby dragon he's gonna lighting that but that wasn't a really good lighting that was a bit over commit grave right here with barbaro tanking poisoning the tombstone and this is gg2 so that was the second game and let's go to the next one H in slash soon right now but let's go to our next match and let's see what deck is using we got a tombstone maybe dragon poison and graveyard okay so he's using a minor fire spirit deck it could probably be mortar it could probably be i think a cycle deck too i'm really gonna go graveyard here because i know that minor decks doesn't have really good options versus versus graveyard normally is is that but right now he's using the minor rocket three spells but we have to see if it's inferno tower or if it's tesla i think if it's tesla it's a bit better for us because inferno tower is a bit annoying versus our deck and it gets a lot of value with for the baby dragon mainly the baby dragon skeleton king it's a really annoying card but if we go versus it it's still winnable but it's a bit more difficult than the tesla version right now i'm waiting a minor from him I already have my ice wizard here prepared if there's a miner. I'm just gonna cycle ice wizard here in the back first. I have my baby dragon here if he puts a miner. I think he's gonna put a miner right now. He didn't. So I'm gonna put my tombstone, attracting that the dark prince. And it's in front of the tower. So it's gonna be a bit more difficult. But right here I'm gonna go grave right because he wasted five elixir there. So right now I know that he doesn't have much elixir to defend the grave right. And we got some damage there. We got a decent amount of damage. But entering the bolix here, we're going to start doing our, our combos. Mainly with the Skeleton King and Baby Dragon taking the Grave Red. Okay, but here's he used that Dark Prince. I'm really going to put my Ice Wizard here. No, I decided to just put the Skelly King. And we're going to enter the bolix here right now. And, and I, let's see if he's going to put the Inferno Tower right there. He's not gonna put it yet. So I'm gonna just Ice Wizard here in the back. Tombstone here. If this tombstone was a bit of misclick. But not a big problem. So right now he's used six elixir. I'm already gonna go attack here. Baby Dragon with Graveheart. And a poison just to kill that in front tower. He wasted a lot of elixir in defense, so it wasn't that bad for us. But yeah, it has a bit of advantage in the tower. And I can't cycle my troops right now in the back on the left side because it's like a free rocket. But right now I'm just going to tombstone here. I'm not going to attack yet because the Dark Prince is there. I'm just going to use my ability here just to force, I think, a log. Yeah, he's going to log here. And I'm already going to baby dragon here with Barbro. In case he puts in front tower, the Barbro there is tanking. 
and look at the damage that we're gonna get a lot of damage and the baby dragon getting splash damage in the tower it's really good for us now and i'm gonna tombstone here in the back already because it's gonna help a lot uh, versus the miner and i'm already gonna go attacking here again turn to everything and i think he gave up here he gave up this is a good game and now we're 19 slash 2 slash 1 so let's go to the next match right now and let's go to the last match here the match for 20 wins we're gonna go versus manuelo let's see what deck is using here i'm already gonna start here with the tombstone the tombstone is a a safe first play to do in the match but tombstone or barbara is a really good play and it seems like a 2.6 if it's 2.6 we have a really really good matchup here we have a really hard counter we have the tornado for the hog we have poison for musketeer graveyard with baby dragon he doesn't have really good defenses versus it but here is i'm gonna put that cannon there i'm just gonna poison here that cannon maybe a graveyard not gonna graveyard yet because it's gonna hug here first gonna tombstone here in the middle and they're ready to activate the tower really good for us right now activating the tower gonna use my ability of the scotty king he's gonna force a log there and we got a bit of damage there no we just got demon i think we just with the poison but still good damage and i'm gonna barber here just to finish them with good here Ice Razor here in case he comes with the hog. I think he has hog already in cycle. So I'm really gonna have my Ice Razor here in the hands. Yeah, he's gonna hog. And I'm gonna put my tombstone too. And really good defense right now from us. And we're gonna enter double elixir in a bit. And we're gonna start doing our combos. Gonna probably put my skeleton king here in the back. I'm gonna put it right now. Just to get some souls from that skeleton right now. And you're gonna prepare my attack. He's gonna cannon first, so I'm just gonna keep poisoning here. And he comes with a hog to the other lane. Just gonna turn it to my king tower. I'm not gonna use, not gonna even use my ability here. Okay, double elixir right now. Now we're gonna start doing our combos with the baby dragon and graveyard. And it starts to go with the musketeer there in the back. So this is a, a free poison. So you fireballs too. And I'm really gonna put my Skelly King here in the back. Getting all those souls. Let's see what he's gonna do right now. He's gonna go to the other lane. And he's gonna Ice Wizard here with the Baby Dragon. And he puts some Skelly here up high. I don't think that play was good. Here I'm gonna use my ability in the Graveyard. And he wastes the log there. So I think he doesn't have really good options right now for the Graveyard. I just take another musketeer, but he's just giving me value of poison on his tower. Yeah, I think yeah, there's not much him for him to do right now in this match. But he's gonna tornado everything back. And we're now we don't even need to uh keep pressuring, I think. If we just like some poisons or keep defending here, get a really good counter-attack. You can win the match. And you're gonna put my ice wizard here with baby dragon and skeleton king. He almost got to the tower. And he's gonna musketeer or firebomb. I'm gonna have my skeleton king here with the souls prepared. He's gonna log. And okay. I'm gonna prepare the tombstone. Baby dragon here. I know that he's gonna come with hog. Okay, he didn't come with hog right now. But he decides to musketeer there in the in the front. It's gonna already grave right with the barbell tanking. And look at the baby dragon, it's still alive, so he has to waste another card. Nice. Look at his tower there, we got it to 1000 for 100. And now we're in triple elixir, so it's gonna be really, really good for us. And he, he's gonna start spamming some hogs right now. He's gonna put that hog there. I have my tombstone here, the ice wizard is helping too. And he wasted the log on offense, so he has to cycle to the log on defense right now. Yeah, he cycles really fast too. But we're gonna get a lot of damage, he says the good game. 
not much for him to do in this matchup and really good for us because in the last match we got a really good matchup for us yeah this is impossible for 2.6 just if i play probably this matchup but yeah it's tombstone here and the hog i thought it was gonna go direct to the tower yeah here's usability poison and this is a gg so this was the match here we got the 20 wins 20 slash 1 almost perfect but uh we got the 20 wins and with splash shard i hope you guys learn a bit with this video so this is a really strong graveyard and there's another graveyard deck i showed in the last video so if you don't like a bit this graveyard there's another graveyard to test but that was the video guys hope you guys liked it got the 20 wins here and see you in the next one